Hey there, we're going to look over the wok recipes and techniques. This is by the same author who did the food lab. This is J. Kenji Lopez Alt. This is going to be an amazing breakdown of using a wok. So let's look into it because I know this is kind of what you guys are looking for to see if you want it or not. These photos are amazing. Let's see if we can see how the book is broken down. Big table of contents here. We have the science of stir fries, uh, rice, noodles, frying, simmering, and braising, noodle or simple no cook sides. And that's it. So let's look at some of the stuff. There's walk history. We get step by step photos on how to break down things like a chicken. And those are things you can see also in the food lab. So this is a really cool pair of co like cookbooks to have. Here we have mincing uh, green onions, scallions, uh, how to cut ginger. There's even an acid test in here. Let's see if we can. Uh, so m this uh, cookbook is similar in that we have recipes scattered throughout this cookbook and, and we have techniques. It's mostly like learning how to do everything with little like little bits of like little treats or something. So this is really cool and we get to cook alongside and actually learn how to use our wok so that we can create our own recipes and it won't be so difficult to use other cookbooks. So here we have a shrimp or fish stuffed chilies in black bean sauce. This looks super good. Here we have listed the ingredients, how much it serves, how much active time there is how much uh, actual cook time total. You can make your own black bean sauce. And then he breaks it down very, very specifically. And as you can tell, we have, you know, step-by-step -step photos throughout, which are really, really helpful, especially when you're doing things like steaming gyoza or even making it yourself and making your own wraps. Here we have... I mean, the photos are beautiful, and I really appreciate that he kind of gives us a little glimpse of everything. And it's not a, your typical cookbook. This really breaks down everything for you. Pod Kana Bacon Crop. This is a Thai-style stir-fried Chinese broccoli with oyster sauce and bacon. Yummy. That sounds good. Snow pea shoots with lobster sauce with or without crab meat. Let's move forward a little bit. I think this is rice, the chapter that I'm currently in. So here's all of these different uh, methods. Here... Let's see if I, this is a heavy book. Um, so we have the category here, the ingredient, and then the method for, you know, all of the different pieces of your stir fry. Because, you know, you can make your own stir fry with really anything. It's a great dish for if you've got a bunch of little vegetables and maybe some meat. And you're like, I could throw this in a stir fry. And it's usually going to be really tasty. So he kind of gives you a little bit of a basic here. Here's a basic vegetable and egg fried rice. I like to make this often. And then we go in further and add things. So like bacon. Or we can add like with the mix. So the mix means, let's see. Oh, like a mixture of whatever's in his freezer. That can be in vegetables, like peppers, peas, all kinds of stuff. And now we get into more. And it builds up and builds up, just like the food lab. So this is a really cool book. For those of you that use your wok or want to learn how to cook more precisely with your wok, and it's just a really great addition to, you know, um, like any, any aspiring chefs out there, this is going to be a must-have on your list of things to have on your, uh, on your bookshelf. So here's some noodles, what he does in each chapter. He breaks it all down for you so you can kind of see how he builds everything up all the different recipes, and how to use your wok in different ways. So hot dress noodles, cold dress noodles, stir-fried noodles. So here he even goes through things like homemade sesame paste. So because it's not an ordinary cookbook, it might not be as intuitive for some of us who are so used to the pretty staple, like here's dinner and breakfast and, you know, dessert, all that stuff. I think there's a pretty comprehensive index here. So if there's something you're looking for, like sesame oil or something, you can find it in the index here. It's all al alphabetical. It's actually quite easy to utilize. And overall, this is just, you know, for us to learn how to use our wok 
Um, cause the wok has so many, there's different kinds of woks, there's different techniques you can use with woks, um, and there's different heat, there's different, there's so much with just that one tool. And I think this is going to be a really useful cookbook for a lot of us. So check this out. This is the wok recipes and techniques. This is by J. Kenji Lopez Alt. If you want to check out more of our cookbooks, join us on our socials at Instagram, Facebook. We also have Amazon Live, so join us over there. We're at Cookbook Divas. Uh, you can see us on Pinterest uh, and, yeah, everywhere. We're everywhere. YouTube, everything. Uh, so, and also make sure to join us on our blog. We do like to post a lot of our videos over there. So join us there. Make sure to subscribe down below. Keep watching if you love cookbooks. And we will talk at you later.